Tonight, we are learning more about a Frederick County teacher who left school with 27 kids yesterday. The teacher allegedly took the children to a cafe and then had someone call 911 to report a stabbing at the school, which was false. Our David Kaplan has new information about this. He joins us and has more. At some point late yesterday morning, police say a teacher took 27 kids out of school, walked them through this neighborhood, and eventually brought them to a popular coffee shop here at this strip mall. Now, here is what we are told from police today. Police say this teacher tried to dispatch, send a walkie-talkie message to the front office of her school asking for permission to take the students out. Police say the teacher did not get a response and also made a determination that it was too quiet inside the school. It was at that point that police say the teacher perceived a threat and followed training she'd received to get students out out of the building for reasons we and police still don't know the teacher takes the students through the woods to this coffee shop has 911 called then falsely claims there was a stabbing incident at the school parents have questions especially after the school was placed on lockdown after this incident everybody's asking the same question what happened and why did this teacher traverse six tenths of a mile away from the school to the hotspot cafe in town right. why not knock on a door that she bypassed. I don't know. All right, we want to use Sky Fox drone to illustrate this walk with these fifth graders. This is the school you're looking at and a straight shot to the coffee shop where the kids wound up. Again, we're told they took a bit of a circuitous route through thick woods and the teacher also at one point we're told had them take off their clothes. She did as well, believed to avoid potential detection. Now we did go to an address today believed to be the teachers. We know that somebody was home, but that person Person did not come to the door. As for the investigation going forward, police have emphasized that they have not charged this teacher, nor will they. However, they did say that it is a possibility that they could. That part of the investigation certainly continues. All this as parents are continuing to seek answers about this situation after the school was placed on a modified lockdown after that 911 call for the false report of a stabber in the building was made. Back to you.